So at Stiftung und Mercator, we work for um, uh, making the ambitious greenhouse gas reduction targets of Germany happen, uh, which means minus 40% by 2020 and say 90 to 95% by uh, 2050 as compared to the 1990 levels. And for us, that um, involves a lot of work on the national level because obviously that is where a lot of the basic policy, energy policy framework is set. But it also comprises work um, at the subnational and regional level um, because that is where implementation happens at the end of the day and where much of the much needed uh, innovation stems from at the end of the day. So basically we were looking for a partner who was able to link our regional work in Germany to the rest of the world really. So uh, it had to be an organization that, um, that has a global network of regions basically um, um, and that um, has a track record um, of being able to provide platforms for mutual exchange of, of those actors really. So it was a rather short way to find the climate group actually and uh, I'm very happy with how our partnership within the energy transition platform now um, um, unfolds and, and evolves really. So our basic theory of change is um, that we want to show the world that it is not only feasible but also advantages actually for a major economy like Germany to be very serious about the low carbon transformation. Um, that is why we focus so much on the energy transition uh, in Germany. We believe if that is successful that can provide a real reference case for, for many other countries in the world there. Um, but obviously Germany can only lead by example if we talk about what uh, we have accomplished and actually also where we have failed, where we have mista we've made mistakes on the way really. Um, plus we want to take in all the knowledge that, that has accumulated all around the world now. There are so many regions, so many nations, you know, having made experiences uh, in, in these low carbon transformation processes. And we want to take that in and bring it back to Germany uh, in order to improve um, and to optimize the implementation of the energy transition um, in Germany. So for this to happen, we need platforms for very trustful uh, mutual exchange, uh, mutual learning and, and uh, joint implementation basically. And that is where the climate group and the energy transition platform really um, um, comes into play. You know, we are based in the Ruhr Valley in Germany. That is really the uh, industrial powerhouse of Germany and always used to be. It, it was, you can say it was built on, on coal and steel, actually. And, uh, and the Ruhr Valley is uh, located in the federal state of North Rhine-Westphalia. And that one state alone is responsible for m more than one third of all the greenhouse gas emissions of, of Germany. So you can easily see that um, we have to be successful with the energy transition or the energy event, as we call it in Germany, exactly here, exactly in those regions, right? I mean, we cannot claim victory until we can show uh, a solid pathway for these kind of highly industrialized regions to be part of a low carbon transition and to make use of all the new opportunities uh, which, which come along with it, basically. Um, so there are many of those regions around the world, of those highly industri industrialized regions that share a lot of the challenges, um, a lot of you know, historical, structural, institutional, business challenges really. Um, and we believe by linking them up via the energy transition platform that the climate group has initiated, um, by linking them up, uh, we'll be able to help them find their way and their place in, in this low carbon transformation create uh, a room for mutual exchange and mutual learning and, and thereby help them really um, uh, go along the low, low carbon transformation pathway more effectively and at the end of the day uh, make it easier and perhaps also more attractive for them to really reduce greenhouse gas emissions.